Hey everybody, David here, and today I wanted to take a look at the career of Vin Diesel. Now, if you know, Bloodshot came out in theaters this week. Uh, didn't do so well uh, this past weekend, and uh, well, you know what? We're a lot of us are probably at home, stuck at home, uh, for reasons. And uh, I thought, why not look at the career of Vin Diesel uh, to see how many movies have I seen of his? Uh, because according to IMDb, uh, which I have up here on the screen, uh, uh, Vin Diesel has at least 35 movie credits. And did I see all of them? I don't know. Will I ever see all of them? I don't think so. Uh, but I am curious at how many of the 35 now, I, I think the 35 they're counting also are the ones that are in production. We're only going to count the ones that uh, that he has available for everybody to see, uh, whether it's on iTunes or Netflix or Disney Plus or whatever streaming service you have that might have uh, Vin Diesel films on there. Uh, these are the films. So I'm going to go through this list, and I'm going to go whether I've seen it or I haven't. Uh, and then we're going to total all of it together. Um, well, I'll, I'll do that later while I edit because I'll, I'll count it then. Uh, and then we can find out if I've seen uh, quite a lot. Maybe I'll try to count uh, how many. We'll see. Uh, so let us begin at the beginning. Uh, Vin Diesel's first film was an uncredited uh, role in Awakenings, which came out in 1990. Uh, Awakenings, I... I, I'm pretty sure I never seen. <laughs> uh, 1997, he got the role of Rick in a movie called Strays. Never seen that. Uh, Saving Private Ryan, I did see. Uh, I just don't remember him in it, so uh, that's pretty interesting. Uh, so there, that's one. I already have one down. Uh, <laughs> the Voice of the Iron Giant, uh, that one I knew. Back in 1999. Uh, I didn't know back then, but uh, obviously after the Fast and the Furious movies, uh, when someone gets popular, you're curious of what else they did. Uh, and so that's when I found out, oh, well, okay, he's the voice of the Iron uh, gi Giant. So uh, that's pretty neat little trivia there for you, uh, just in case no one else knew that. So that one I did see. So far, two movies down. So I'm, I'm keeping track of, of the movies that I, I've been saying. Uh, Boiler Room. Uh, never seen Boiler Room. Pitch Black. Never seen Pitch Black. Fast and the Furious. Of course, I've seen this. Uh, I didn't like it when it first came out. I thought, meh, it was okay. Uh, <laughs> I have a newfound appreciation for the first Fast and the Furious movie. I still don't think it's a great movie. Uh, but I don't think it's a, I don't think it's terrible. Uh, I think it's a fine movie, especially for what comes later. Uh, I think it's fine. Uh, Knock Around Guys, 2001, that came out the same year as Fast and the Furious, uh, never seen that one. Triple X, I never seen Triple X, uh, <laughs> I stayed away from that one, uh, especially when people started comparing it to James Bond, oh, it's the new James Bond, I'm like, nah. uh, A Man Apart, I never seen A Man Apart. Uh, The Chronicles of Riddick, I believe that's the sequel to Triple X, uh, ne never seen The Chronicles of Riddick. Uh, the Pacifier, <laughs> skip that one. Uh, I'm pretty sure that one's on Disney+. Plus. Uh, <laughs> I think I, I stumbled onto it. I didn't watch it, but I, I saw the title up there. Uh, Find Me Guilty? Nope. Uh, Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. The problem with counting uncredited cameo cameos or something like that is that there it's not really their movie, so I don't know if I want to count the uncredited stuff as their films, I think they have to either have a supporting role or a main role. So I'm not going to count Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift because he only shows up at the very end of that movie. Uh, it, it's more of a cameo. So I, I'm not going to count cameos or uh, uncredited roles, uh, unless it's a large uncredited role. I know there's very few out there that have something like that, like James Earl Jones, right? He he goes uncredited in all the original Star Wars films as Darth Vader because he felt bad that he wasn't doing enough, and the suit guy should be credited, the guy uh, which was at the time David Prowse. Uh, so 
yeah, I'm not going to count Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift on this one. So I think I'm at, at three movies so far out of all the movies I've been uh, counting. Uh, Babylon, uh, Babylon AD, never saw it. Uh, Fast and the Furious, that's the fourth one, which came out in 2009. Uh, yes, I did see that one, obviously. Uh, when I went back uh, for Fast and the Furious 6, I think it was. Uh, anyways, Fast 5, obviously, yes. And Fast and the Furious 6, yes. Uh, Riddick, no. I did not see Riddick because it's part of the Triple X movies. Um, so, so, if Vin Diesel watches this, I'm sorry, man. I just, I'm just not a fan uh, of that, of that. You know, maybe I would be, I don't know. I It just doesn't look appealing to me. Uh, d that's just my opinion. Don't hate on me, please. I'm a, I'm a fan of you. But, yeah, anyways, moving on. Guardians of the Galaxy, 2004. Uh, obviously, if you know me, I love the MCU. So, yes, Guardians of the Galaxy, I did see. Now, he has a smaller role in that, I guess, right? He just says, I am Groot throughout most of the film. Does that count? Yeah, okay, it will count. Uh, Furious 7, that's the one that really, I, I prepared for it. <laughs> as soon as I heard Paul Walker had passed away, I, I did go back and watch all the Fast and the Furious movies, caught up for it just in time to see Furious 7 in theaters. Uh, which, yes, now I'm a fan of the franchise, because I think starting from the fourth Fast and the Furious movie, I think that's where the series really got better. Uh, moving on, The Last Witch Hunter, no. I did not see The Last w Witch Hunter. Um... Oh, okay, wait, Riddick, okay, I'll get to that one in, in a few minutes. Uh, Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk, never seen it. Triple uh, X Return of Xander Cage. So, Chronicles of Riddick, I'm guessing, is not uh, a sequel to Triple um, to X. Uh, I did not, I was, maybe I was getting mixed up with something else. Uh, but yes, okay, Triple X. Chronicles of Riddick, two different things. I'm pretty sure there's people yelling at their computer screens telling me, what are you talking about? <laughs> Chronicles of Riddick is a sequel. No, it's not. Uh, I, I apologize for that little mistake. I, 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 for some reason, it crossed my mind that they were the same thing. It, it is not. Now I remember Triple X and Chronicles of Riddick, two different things. Uh, Fate of the Furious, yes, I've seen it. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, of course I've seen it. Avengers Infinity War, yes, I've seen it. Uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet, that was a cameo, so I'm not going to count that one. Um, Avengers Endgame, yes, I've seen it. Bloodshot, no, I have not seen it. But maybe I will when it comes out on like iTunes for renting. Uh, I just don't think that was a movie for me to see in the theaters, especially uh, during the time it came out right now. So, uh, look, I I didn't count how many. I'm going to count them right now. So, out of all the movies that I just read that are available for anybody to see, I think, did I just count 13? I really, literally, I forgot how many. You know how many I watched because I put them <laughs> on the video to show how many I watched. Uh, so, hopefully... I, I, I think I, I didn't even see half of the movies he made, almost half out of, out of the 30-something movies he made. Uh, so that's pretty good. Look, not everybody's going to be able to see every movie that somebody made. It's just impossible. But it shows the ones that I was attracted to that I did go see. Whether I came out liking them or not uh, is a different story. If I had to pick my favorite, obviously I'm going to pick... Avengers Endgame as my favorite. Uh, if I had to pick my least favorite, it's going to be the first Fast and the Furious movie. Uh, m maybe. Um, yeah, I think the first Fast and the Furious movie. Because I did like the Iron Giant. I don't remember how big of a role he had in Saving Private Ryan. Because I literally, I remember Tom Hanks. I know Matt Damon's in it. He's Ryan. Uh, <laughs> I just do not remember Vin Diesel in that movie. So... Uh, Steven Spielberg, so, uh, of course I've seen it. Um, yeah, so there you go, guys. Uh, I did not count Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift on that, because, uh, even though I did see it, and, uh, Ralph, Ralph Breaks the Internet, because, uh, the, he, those are cameos. I don't count cameos as a person's, uh, uh, role. Uh, it has to be a full role, like a supporting role or main role, and that's it. Uh, if they have like two or three scenes, I'll probably count something like that. 
But if you're only in the movie for like one minute or less than a minute, that doesn't count. Uh, with that being said, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys share your Vin Diesel movies that you've seen. Are there movies that you've seen that maybe you want to recommend to me? Maybe I will check so out some uh, Vin Diesel movies. I'll be surprised if someone tells me to check out The Pacifier. Uh, or what was that movie called? I don't care. Pacifier Day or so. Oh, The Pacifier. Yeah, I was right. I'll be surprised if someone tells me to watch that because... That does not look good. So, <laughs> I don't know about the rest of these. Like, Pitch Black, I've heard people talk about. I, I haven't heard anything like, you have to see this movie. Uh, maybe somebody out there can change my mind. Who knows? With that being said, until next time, everybody, if you like this video, maybe I'll do other celebrities every time a new movie comes out uh, that a uh, big celebrity is in, and we could check out what movies I've seen of theirs and what I haven't. So, until next time... Take care.